everybody, DJ Coham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farm to Build, babe. Today we get a look at the John Deere 2020 series. 82 Studios got a new mod. Peter J's bringing their Massey 1250 back. Lou Hogan Modding's got a John Deere 6M. Julian F. Modding's making some new modded versions of the versatile four-wheel drive. Cola Modding's new truck is in-game. FDR logging are doing something different with wood. Agritano's got some new John Deere headers. Top has got a few new stuff for us. Farm Central Soul's new silo should be here soon. Caster Modding's got a crazy diagram of his new PGA system. Plus, Team IWMM have a new map and a new Landini tractor. Check it out. Today, we get a look at the John Deere 2020 tractor pack from Sid Modding, which he's going to be bringing back from FS19 to FS22 for all platforms. Included in this pack is going to be the 7R, 8R, 8RT, and the 8RX. He says that he's going to be doing a lot of new configurations for each model, and he's taking his time. He's also going to be getting a few things fixed in the process. He even teased the John Deere 8960, meaning we could be seeing this one return as well. I know players are going to be very happy to see both of these mods coming back. Next up from 82 Studio, we see that his multi free buying station and TLX 2020 have completed testing for FS22. However, usually this does mean that they have failed, and they're just waiting to be returned to the modder. This is evident by the TLX Phoenix Winter Wolf showing release pending for FS19, and actually, that's already out, so jump on Farm Sim 19 and download it right now. I'll get my video on that out after this one. Don't worry, the Winter Wolf will be released for FS22 as well, but it's going to be going through a few changes and upgrades to bring it to FS22 spec. Keep an eye out for the mod videos for both of these and all of these soon. We probably won't be seeing the buying station or 2020 on FS22 until the game patch, so heads up there. If you want to stay up to date with David's mods, check him out on his live streams. He's going to be streaming later today at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. You can catch him modding live there. Link below. For those of you that have been waiting for a nice classic Massey Ferguson done right, Peter J. Modding says that his Massey 1250 will be coming to FS22 for all platforms. And here we get a teaser from him from an end game. I know this was popular in 19 and be even better in 22. Are you looking for some different versions of the John Deere 6M than what we've got? Well, if you are, Blue Hog and Modding has you covered. In FS19, his mod was in a pack of three models, small, medium, and large versions. Hopefully we get to see all three models coming back. I think the deer in the background is hoping so as well. Later yesterday, Julian F. Bonnie changed the banner on their Facebook to this picture right here. We're gonna read into this a little bit, but bear with me. We've got the versatile four-wheel drive here, showing with some different wheels, and we've even got the all-red version as well. I know the console players did not get to use anything like this in 19, but if you played on PC, you probably recognize these as being very similar to the versatile four-wheel drive tractor pack, which was released for PC only in 19. I'm not sure if Julian was part of that or not, but I know that he has worked with the guys that were credited with it, and I know that he was working on something like this very, very short time ago, like in uh, February, March, somewhere around there. Uh, no matter, it would be awesome to see these for all platforms and to be able to use these. Maybe we could even get some versions with tracks as well. Cola Modding says that they've got some new parts for their HP N-Series trucks, which were originally made for FS19 but were not finished in time, and they've started working on them for FS22 and they moved their focus to this new game completely. Unfortunately, we don't get any new information on these whatsoever, so we're just going to have to wait and see what Cola brings us down the road. FDR Logging's got a new screenshot from their next reboot, the John Deere 909, which is looking fresh. They also say that they're experimenting with proper tree physics, new trees, which will fix all of the issues that FDR had mentioned about in his first impression video, Revis 22, which you should definitely go check out, by the way, if you haven't already. I did share it when he dropped it, but it's full of useful information that anyone doing logging in FS22 at any time will need to know. Check it out, link below. Agritono's got some goodies for us today, saying that they've got one more mod to add to their collection, and it could be working great for the S700 and S600 series from JHHD Modding, which I released a video on earlier today. Check it out if you haven't already. Back to Agritono, they have their John Deere 600 FD series headers, which include the very popular air bar with different color configurations and things like that. They'll also work great on the X9 that we've got in game too. Any way you look at it, these are going to be a lot of fun to use. Java has a few mods for us, starting off with their seed and fertilizer silo, fertilizer cans, another new map, and the John Deere container carrier with the Tatra ITR in the background. All these are looking near completion. We could see some stuff from them on the testing list soon. Whenever Giants update that. Farm Central Souls also bringing over a silo, their BR silo, which they say is on its way. NFS 19 had a capacity of 400,000 liters per fruit, and I think it was multi fruit. It says that it holds all different kinds of fruits, but I can't remember exactly. Either way, new silo mods are on their way. Caster has shown off progress on their upcoming BGA mod that has made it to where you can decide how you want to do things. Do you want to 
go from the top left, you got the bunker, and then it goes into the fermenter. And from there, you can either go to the generator, digestate storage, post fermenter, or the methane cells. From the post fermenter, you can go to the generator, but you've also got slurry at the bottom that can either go to the fermenter or the fluid fermenter, which then goes all around. It can get a little bit confusing, and I had to translate everything, but I'm sure you're going to be able to figure out a way that works best for you. Caster is one of the best BGA monitors out there, makes some really, really good stuff. If you haven't downloaded any of their stuff for 19, go back and take a look at it because it's awesome. Either way, thank you, Caster, for sharing this diagram. And lastly, today, we've got our first look at Team IWMM's map, Fortaleza for FS22. They say the map is slowly coming back to life. They're going to have some new information for us soon. Additionally, we get to see their Landini Legend 180, which will also become an FS22 for all platforms. They don't give us much more on that, so stay tuned for more coming soon. And get ready, because the segue to the outro is right now. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. No release dates for mods, myself, nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of those projects. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the news video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new. Join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. That being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you So yeah, a little bit of a different look. No blue lights in the background. Google wouldn't listen to me today.